In this week's video tip, we review the functioning of the export duplicate count. Hi, I'm Jim Todd with Song Surgeon, and if you don't know what the export duplicate count is, I urge you to watch this video because it is an often overlooked feature that you're going to find extremely valuable if you're not already using it. The export duplicate count feature is found at the bottom of the export dialog window, meaning right down here. As you can see there is a form field that can be changed. It is set to 1 by default, but you can insert whatever number you'd like to here. But that's really getting ahead of ourselves, so let's go back and talk about what this does first. As you know, one of the valuable features within Song Surgeon is the ability to loop or play repetitively a song or a segment, a solo or a riff. And of course, to do that while you have the music slowed down to your preferred tempo. However, when you do this, you are tied to your computer when you utilize this repetitive playing or looping feature. But realistically, there are just simply times and situations when you'd like to have this music on a CD or an MP3 player or iPod or phone to make it portable. And you'd like to have this music still slow down and of course you'd like to have it loop. Well, that's where the duplicate loop count comes in handy. Let's say you have a loop set up within Song Surgeon and you have it slowed down to 45% as I do in this particular screenshot that you see here. Here's the loop and as you can see down here we have it set to 45%. Now using the export command we can tell Song Surgeon to export the current loop and we can give it a name. We're just going to call it export duplicate count for short. 45% because it's slowed down to 45. We can now select a file format and in this case I'm going to select MP3 and now we can select the number of times we'd like to create a copy of this particular loop and I'm going to insert here 5. So on export what you'll have then is a new file that will contain 5 copies of this looping area and will play back at 45%. So really what the duplicate loop count enables you to create is a file with repetitive playing built into it, as if you were using the file inside of Song Surgeon, but of course without the limitation of being tied to your computer. So let's go ahead and now export this. As you can see it's exporting right now. And as you can see it's finished, so let's go ahead and, and open this new file. Now just to remind you here, what we should see are five copies of this looped area, okay? So that's what we're looking for in this new file. Here it is. Let's go ahead and open it now. And here's the first copy. Here's the second. Here's the third. Here's the fourth. Here's the fifth. So as you can see, we've created a copy of this loop five times, and it will play back now at the 45% level, and you can put that on any, any type of device that you'd like. Just one last thing to mention here before we conclude, and that is regardless of what you export, whether it is the current loop, all loops, or the entire song, the export duplicate count will duplicate whatever you select in this export menu. So that concludes our weekly video tip. Thanks for watching.